Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Let's continue with the chemical reactions of carbonyl compounds. Based on what we have in our syllabus, we are going to focus four reactions in carbonyl compounds. We have four of it here, but in this video, I'm going to focus based on nucleophilic addition only. So for nucleophilic addition, what we have is based on carbonyl group in ketone or aldehyde. So nucleophilic addition will happen based on several specific reactions. The first one is addition of HCN, next addition of water, addition of alcohols, addition of sodium bisulfide, and the last one is addition of green reagent. This is what we are going to recap based on previous chapter. Let's go with the first reaction of nucleophilic addition. This is addition of hydrogen cyanide. So when you have hydrogen cyanide, the formula is HCN. But to get HCN, actually it is prepared in C2, a name of a process, by mixing KCN with sulfuric acid or mixing sodium cyanide with sulfuric acid. So when you want to write the equation, you are going to use the mixing of this mixture as your equation. Let's say you pick KCN, so you got ketone or aldehyde as a starting material, plus with KCN, above the arrow you have H2SO4. And what you will form, you are going to do the nucleophilic addition, where you add something which is your nucleophile. Your nucleophile is coming from this CN minus. That's why you got the bond breaking at the double bond O here. You form OH group. And this product is what we call as cyanohydrate. So I got a few examples here. Let's try two of it. So the first thing first, take a look at the reaction that you have. You are going to use this aldehyde and this ketone. Let's focus with A first. I'm going to break this bond. So let's say in this KCN, I have K plus and CN minus ions. I know that this negative charge CN minus is going to attack the electron deficient carbon. This is our electrophilic site and this double bond will be broken and go towards oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative to get the final product which is my carbon attached to OH group because the bond splitting here will form hydroxyl group and then the rest of it stay the same H at the right side and CH3 at the left side and then you got one more bond for this carbon bonded to CN because CN is our nucleophile that's coming from KCN. Next one, we have ketone here. So it's just the same thing but right now your ion in this part is Na plus and CN minus. But we know that the same ion CN minus is going to attack carbon and then you will get your final product is cyanohydrin but make sure you show the correct groups attached to the carbon so I'm going to draw my product carbon attached to OH group and then at the right side CH3 bonded to the benzene ring or aromatic ring is what you call another name and the last one you bonded to carbon attached to N you can also show the triple bond between them that's also acceptable Next one, we have addition of water. This is where you are going to add H2O in acidic condition to form a hydrate or gem diols. So what does it mean by that? First, you got your ketone or aldehydes plus water. The arrow should be reversible and then acid at the top of the arrow. What you can form, you are going to split the double bond here. You form OH and then you add OH minus from H2O because OH minus from H2O is our nucleophile. So this is what we call as gem diols because you have two hydroxyl groups opposite to each other. So let's try these examples. What I have here, I'm going to form gem diols so this bond will be broken. So I'm going to copy back my structure C single bond OH and then at the right side CH2CH3 
at the left side you have hydrogen and you add your nucleophile so you got gem diols next one we have ketone so same case here you are going to split this bond and then you add OH minus so I'm going to copy back this one will be single bond OH at the right side CH3 and then you got the benzene ring or aromatic ring don't forget the circle in the middle and the last one you have another OH group so this OH group is coming from your nucleophile which is water so don't forget the concept that you have to know at least Please remember that when you break the double bond O, you will form OH. That's why you got OH here. Okay, let's continue with the next one. This is addition of alcohols. So addition of alcohols, when you have alcohol reacts with carbonyl compounds, you have to make sure you can hasilkan dua bahagian reactions. So I can split this into two parts. The first part adalah untuk form hemiacetal and hemicatal. So what is this? Okay, focus one by one. Untuk aldehyde, when you react with one equivalent alcohol, dia akan produce hemiacetal. So macam mana reaction ni berlaku? Kita tahu carbon dekat sini adalah partial positive. This is partial negative. So apa-apa nucleophile yang datang daripada awak punya reagent, dia akan attack dekat sini. Let's say this one, nucleophile yang datang adalah RO-. So RO- dekat sini, kita punya nucleophile dia akan attack kita punya carbon. So, bila dia attack kita punya carbon, this bond akan pergi kepada oxygen. So, oxygen is very high in electron density. Dia adalah O-. So, dia akan tarik H plus daripada acid awak. So, this acid condition akan menghasilkan OH group. So, macam mana reaction ni berlaku? So, once awak hasilkan OH and then OR- akan masuk So OR- masuk Dia akan masuk Jadi this part So OR- datang daripada Alkohol awak So this is how you form Hemiacetal Next one If we have ketone The same reaction as well This carbon is electropositive This one Oxygen electronegative So when you have Your nucleophile Which is OR- So you are going to attack and add your nucleophile into this position. So you got your OR from alcohol which is this one. Dia akan masuk dekat sini. Okay, saya terbalikkan structure dia. Kalau boleh you faham lah. Kalau you nak terbalikkan tu tak apa. And then bahagian sini kita ada double bond beri kepada oxygen. So oxygen sekarang dia ada negative charge. Dia akan tarik acid daripada sini. So, jadilah OH group dekat bawah. So, you got this part menjadi OH. So, this is how you form hemicatal. So, hemiacetal and hemicatal, in order for you to understand well, it is the structure when you have both OR and OH groups attached to the same carbon. This carbon or this carbon. Okay, mari kita lihat contoh dia. Contoh sekarang kita ada... Ion dalam this structure adalah CH3O- dan juga H+. And then same goes here, CH3O- dan juga H+. Okay, kita buat bond cleavage antara OH. And then, our nucleophile is this one. Dia akan masuk dan attach kepada carbonyl carbon here. And then, this O negative akan attract acidic H+, here. So I'm going to draw my structure for A first. So for A, you have C. Okay, let's say saya letak kat sini adalah OH. And then saya ada H. And this one saya ada CH2, CH3. And then you got O, CH3 here. So this is your hemiacetal. So hemiacetal will be formed as a product from reaction of aldehyde with alcohol. Next one kalau kita ada ketone So same goes here Saya akan masukkan O CH3 O- Sebagai OR group saya So saya akan copy balik structure Carbon And here it's going to be OH And then here CH3 Bonded to CH3 At the bottom one you have O CH3 
So this is what we call as hemi kata. Dan dia terhasil daripada reaction alcohols with ketone. Very simple. Next one, tadi saya cakap kita bahagikan kepada dua parts untuk addition of alcohols. Di sini kita akan fokus kepada bahagian yang kedua di mana kita akan mulakan starting material kita sambungan daripada hemi acetal and hemi ketal. So hemi acetal dia akan react dengan another second molar equivalent of alcohol untuk hasilkan acetal. Apa maksud perkataan second molar equivalent of alcohol? It means that you have another same molecule of alcohol with the same condition. You react with hemi acetal. So let's say acetal ni adalah produk yang terhasil daripada reaction hemi acetal. Kita buang perkataan hemi kat depan. So hemi adalah di mana kita ada OR dan OH at the same carbon. Tapi bila react dengan R OH which is our alcohol in acidic condition dia akan hasilkan dua OR groups attached to the same carbon so how this reaction happen bila wali had dekat hemi acetal hemi acetal kita ada this OH group this OH group is a good living group so bila dia good living group dia akan bonded kepada H plus kat sini untuk jadi water so sebenarnya kita ada side product sebagai water kat sini So this water is coming from H from acid then OH here. So this OH is going to replace with OR. So we can replace OH kat sini dengan OR daripada this one. So nucleophile kita akan masuk menggantikan tempat OH. So ini adalah nucleophilic addition juga. So we akan tambah OR minus. So ion yang ada dalam ni adalah OR minus dan juga H plus. Tapi fokus kita adalah this one sebab dia adalah nucleophile charge negatif. Untuk hemi ketal, dia undergoes the same reaction tapi dia akan produce ketal. So ketal macam mana? Konsep yang sama juga. Awak patut tahu this one bila kita buat mekanism OH ni is a good living group as a water bila dia react dengan H plus. So dia akan jadi side product H2O. So what will happen you are going to add at the same position here with OR minus. So your nucleophile is still the same OR minus. So it's going to add at the same position here. So you got your OR group attached to the same carbons. This is how you want to distinguish between acetal and hemiacetal, ketal and hemiketal. So let's try one example. One example here, what I'm going to add is our OR here and then this one kita akan masukkan dekat position sini. So this OH dia akan jadi good living group. Okay, so saya akan kekalkan yang lain. So I'm going to copy back my structure C bonded to O CH3. This is the second molar equivalent of the same alcohol and then I have CH2, CH3 here. And don't forget here you are going to add OCH3. And then kalau you nak tulis side product pun tak ada masalah because this is equation. You got the water as the side product. And the same goes for B. You have carbon bonded to OCH3. The rest of it stay the same. You got CH3 at the right side and the left side. But here you are going to add nucleophilic addition, our nucleophile is OCH3. So you can see that the formation of acetal and ketal, you got the same OR group attached to the same carbon. This is same, same at the same carbon. Same goes here, same, same at the same carbon. So two OR group is attached at the same carbon. And if you want to put the proper equation, make sure you write the water as the side product. So I hope you are clear with how the formation of acetal and ketal. Next, we are going to learn about the addition of sodium bisulfite. So this is the formula NaHSO3. When aldehydes and ketones react with sodium bisulfite, it will form bisulfite salts which is very soluble in water. 
So how you want to show bisulfite salt, you are going to show it by using the ions negative attached to the positive charge. So the ion negative is coming from SO3- and it will attract Na plus as well. So this is how you show the product and as usual when you split the bond between carbon and oxygen, you will form hydroxyl group attached to the same carbon. So let's try example 10. What I have here is this aldehyde. I'm going to split the bond here and then I'm going to form my product bisulfite salt. Let's start with the carbon bonded to OH and then after that it has H and then you got CH2, CH3 at the right side and at the bottom one you are going to put it as SO3 minus Na plus. Make sure the bond is bonded to sulfur. So you got your bisulfite salt. Next one, we have the same reaction but different carbonyl compound. This time is ketone. So I'm going to repeat it back. So you have double bond O and then split the bond. You will form carbon bonded to OH group. And then at the right side and left side, you have the same alkyl group CH3. At the bottom one, you can put it SO3 minus Na plus. Very simple. So you got bisulfite salt here and here. It depends on the structure of your carbonyl compounds. Let's go with the last reactions of nucleophilic addition. What I have here is addition of green up reagent. I hope you still remember the green up reagent is alkyl groups attached to magnesium and halogen. So when you prepare the green up reagent, make sure you know you are going to need magnesium and dry ether to form the green up reagent. After that, once you form already the green up reagent, you are going to use it to react with aldehydes or ketones. It depends on whichever question that you have. So basically, we are going to recap this back from chapter 7, Haloalkane. I'm just going to put the general equations only. So if you want to take a look more about this part, watch my videos about chapter 7, Haloalkanes for green up reagent. So this green up reagent will be acted as nucleophile because as you know that, magnesium here is always electropositive. So this one electropositive, automatically the alkyl group is electronegative. So this alkyl group will attack the carbon which is at the carbony carbon. This carbon is electron deficient. Automatically the bond here will be donated to oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative. And then you will form intermediate products where you got your alkyl groups attached to the carbon and then this is nucleophilic addition because your nucleophile is the alkyl group, negative charge. And then you have intermediate OMGX. X is your halogen. And then once you've done with this intermediate, you are going to further the reaction by using the hydrolysis H3O plus to get the primary alcohol. So that is the first step when you have methanol. The reaction will continue the same part, the same thing happen when you have your green up reagent, it will attack from alkyl group here and then you will form intermediate to produce secondary alcohol when you have your aldehyde reacts with green up reagent. And the last one, if you have green up reagent reacts with ketone, it will form tertiary alcohol. So it depends on whichever structure of carbonyl compounds that you have. Make sure you know the concept to produce the product. So I believe that's it for our video today. I hope you can understand this is only one reaction of carbonyl compounds which is nucleophilic addition. And I already separated into four reactions. So that's all from me. I hope you can try to do the tutorial question and see you in the next video. Bye!